Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, where you can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the speedy CarboTrack Pro Level Race Gauntlet. Looking at the speedy Carbo Track glove, we have a next generation of top end technology from Speedy. This is going to be the replacement for the Penta, which I'm not even sure if they even brought into the States at any point. Really, within the American Speedy line of what we have available, this is going to be the step up or the top end of the line. And slightly underneath this is going to become something that's a little bit less technical, like the Carbo 6. Now, if we're looking at this, we're talking about a glove that's around that $300 price point. It's GP technology. It's about as protective and comfortable as you can get while using these components. There's something like 200 plus pieces of technology or components that go into this glove. If we look at it as a, at a glance, this is my favorite colorway. I'm wearing the black red. There's a black white. There's a few different colors here available. And really, there's a lot going on. Talk about fit. The fit of this guy, I'm wearing a large. It's a Euro size nine, American size large. And to me, that stands out that this glove is going to be American in its cut. Now remember, it's leather too, so it's gonna slightly break in. Some manufacturers that are European, like Speedy, offer gloves that you need to go a size up in. And typically, something like an Alpine Stars, I'm gonna be that extra large. Here in the Speedy, I am an absolutely large. So make a note of that, because that is important when you get into a technical piece like this. Now, if we look at it from back to front, there's a lot going on, as I did mention. The first thing that you're gonna see stand out is this checkerboard pattern. This is one of the big selling points on this glove. This is called the Warrior Protection System. We see it in back armor from Speedy and some of their other types of armor. It's basically this very flexible, very abrasion and impact resistant these panels that are now injected into the glove that add a lot of protection, but allow you a lot of range of motion. So you have it on the outside laterally here on the pinky, on the heel of the hand, along the wrist. If these were large pieces of TPU or big aluminum slider, they would be adding rigidity. And while we are adding some support, we're not sacrificing any feel, we're not sacrificing any movement. And actually, you can see even the way that it's cut here on the pinky allows for flex, but also the way this pinky is designed is where you bring your hand down, it actually wraps the pinky in. That's a very ergonomic but protective feature that Speedy uses in place of doing a two-finger bridge. Now, if we look here, we have moving up the back of our hand. Let's just do the back of the hand, then we'll wrap it over. So all of the construction of this glove is going to be Kobe Cow cowhide. So this is the cow that Kobe beef comes from. It's a very well taken care of cow that's almost catered to and it's a high quality leather that comes off of that cow. It's very, very soft. So all the leather moving from the back from the gauntlet, you're going to have your, it integrates with your warriors, see your speedy logos, and then you're going to have padding behind it. Moving to the back of the hand, carbon fiber sliders, and you can see these almost pointy ridges to them. So you have it back of the wrist, back of the hand, now a separate panel that's going to house our carbon fiber knuckle, and you can see the really aggressive look. They almost come to points. That's for a reason, two reasons. Aerodynamics, and also coming to that point, you're adding the tip of that has the least amount of surface area, so it's gonna aid in being a slider versus something that's more flat that's gonna provide more friction if you were to go down. Now, Speedy has also told us that underlying this carbon fiber knuckle system, there's actually nine layers of either material or fabric before you make it to your hand, which is huge because when carbon fiber touches down on asphalt, it gets very hot, and having that extra layer, those extra layers of protection, make sure none of that heat transfers to your hand. Also notice, I did it's very important to have flexibility here with this knuckle because as you're working the controls in, ri in active riding conditions or racing, you know, there's a lot of movement there. And if this wasn't on a second panel, it would create bunching and or pulling on the back of the hand. Now moving up here, you're going to see one thing that's a little bit different with this glove. We have this extra panel of leather. And again, it's this super high-end cowhide that covers elasticated panels that are perforated underneath there. You can see that white poking through, so that adds flexibility through the elasticated panel. It also adds breathability, but it's anytime you perforate any type of leather, you're weakening it, so they've added these extra panels of protection. Moving into the fingers, there's foam in these fingers, there's multiple, leather, uh, multiple layers of leather, and then in the middle, and the uh, ring finger, you're going to have carbon fiber and a temper foam pad here on the tip of the ring finger as well. And actually, you can see that that warrior armor, again, is seated within a layer of Clarino on top of a layer of leather. It's just a really, really nice touch. Moving towards the thumb, you're going to notice we start to look at our cuff. We might as well hit the cuff here. So double cuff closure. So it's going to be a, a, a micro style Velcro, which is a little bit shorter hook and loop system that comes over, all encompassing even on this uh, the bottom side here with the warrior that comes over. And you're going to have an accordion panel that's covered underneath. I like this accordion panel. 
I think that it's low profile, it sucks in well, and you notice that we even have some perforation here along this in inner cuff. So there's my double cuff closure for adjustability, wrist adjustment strap here, and then moving back into the thumb, elasticated stretch panel, perforated area of temper foam, seated within another layer of leather. So again, you're talking about a lot of different panels that come in between the road and your skin. Moving over into the palm, pre-curved fingers, you have a flat seam construction. These are gonna be internal seams on all of the fingers and thumb, except for the pinky that has an external seam here. And again, that's done differently because it in incorporates the warrior protection. And if we look at the, the thumb here, both the external side or the back side of the hand, as well as the palm, is going to have Keramid, which is a Kevlar de derivative lining throughout the entire glove. So it's just not the palm, it's just not the back of the hand, you have it throughout. Looking at the Clarino or along the heel of the hand, you have a high density temper foam slash gel palm here, which is on the ball of the thumb, which is triple stitched around, and then moving over to the heel of the hand, again, a high impact area, you're gonna have more warrior protection. So again, you have that very flexible, very strong and abrasion resistant panel that's going to do a great job of covering your hide. Personally, if I have to nitpick one thing on this glove, I'd love to see this be a single panel of Clarino versus overlapping there. Anytime you can eliminate seams, you're eliminating weak points, but for the most part, I feel like they're doing a great job of adding protection and or extra panels that encapsulate key seams here on this glove. There's, you know, Speedy calls it microfiber. I'm going to disagree. I think that's just kind of what they had to call it, lost in translation factor a little bit. This is actually a silicone coated rubberized panel on these double stitch panels in the high use area here. There's actually a tackiness to it, to it and you actually see it down here as well. You have that across you know, where your fingers meet your hand and then also in the crook of the finger and thumb, high use areas that are going to add abrasion resistance and longevity to this glove. And then to fit, you know, we did talk it's a large, but I'm, I'm going to go out here and say even pre-break-in, this is a very, very comfortably fitting glove. The leather is as nice on the inside as it is on the out. You know, you're talking about a $300-ish price point, so it's a major investment, but there's a lot of bang for the buck here. Um, outside of that, I really don't have anything that I want to pull apart or, or take away from this glove. I mean, it, it's definitely a big step forward from what we saw in the previous version in something like the Penna, and it definitely can hang with a lot of the other pro-level race gloves that we have within our line here at Revzilla.com. And as I did mention, that there are multiple colors available. So let us know what you think of the Carbo Track. Leave us notes on, on YouTube, on Facebook, on Revzilla TV. We want to hear if you love it, if you hate it, if you're riding one now, or if you're just seeing it for the first time and salivating over it. And as always, you can subscribe to us at Revzilla TV. Keep up to date with all the new gear reviews that we're doing continually and rolling out to our YouTube channel and on our website at Revzilla.com. If you need any help, Buying a pair of high-end race gloves is a difficult thing. There's a lot to digest out there. Let our experts be your guide. Shoot us a line. See us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. And as always, it's over 39 bucks. Ship for free, exchange for free, no restock if you need to send it back. And you can earn TeamZilla cash to be applied to your next order by continuing to shop with us, our way to save you some money in the long run. If you're buying a pair of gloves like this, you're buying a suit, you have boots, you're buying stuff for your bike, it's expensive to get to the track. Continuing to shop with RevZilla, we can help you save some cash. As always, you can find this glove at RevZilla.com slash speedy. This is the Carbo Track Pro Level Race Glove available at RevZilla.com. I'm Anthony. Thanks for watching today.